Well, it's Wednesday, middle of the week. We went and cut one yesterday to 400 foot and it don't make much water. So we're gonna go back today and cut it to 600 foot. So this is how we roll rods. If we wanna take them any deeper than 400 foot, the 400 foot that's carried on the rig, we've got this rod rack we built out of eight by eights here. That was the first thing we built when we moved to our new shop. It's kind of funny, last night I get off of work and I get home and my damn heat pump died at my house. Brand new, two years old, heat pump died. I was so aggravated. This morning I went up and uh, since the fan and the compressor didn't fire, I said it's gotta be a start capacitor. So I went ahead, opened up the side of my outside unit, pulled out my start capacitor, brought it here into work. We got a capacitor checker here at work and we just checked it and it is in, indeed it is bad. So that way when I get off work today, I can have me another job to do fixing my heat pump. Go ahead. All right, home for the day. Home for the day. Homeowner didn't really clear this off well enough for us. Luckily, they had an old bobcat over there. I ran that yesterday. Clean this off. They left us some old pine tree stumps and all sorts of stuff out here for us. Pull this off. Check the water level. This well didn't make much. We're going to find a tiny little pebble like this and we're going to drop it and we're going to listen and count. Six seconds to water. So 120 feet to water. Yikes. Uh, at least um, it's made some. It's made like 300 gallons in, I don't know, 16 hours. So Mike was over there digging. I came over here to uh, unlock the truck. And I noticed this wet spot right here. I don't even know if you can tell that on camera. But this is dry and this is wet. And when I look at it, see? See the color? Antifreeze. Come under here. I don't know if you'll be able to see if the camera will even focus on that. But basically, underneath here, over there, is your coupler. There's about a six inch rubber coupler with two hose clamps on it. And it's leaking. Bottom side of the radiator. So before I uh, crank this thing up, I need to do a little bit of working on that. Can't be having that. I need to check to make sure that we haven't lost too much antifreeze. As I thought. Nothing. She's down, down, really far down. It's below whatever this is. And for some reason it didn't draw it out of our tank. Okay, we're going to just put water in it for now. And I'm going to climb down there and uh, try to tighten that clamp. Well, that's better. Now, it's uh, I put about three gallons in it. And it's right there. It's about two inches below the bottom of this so it puts it about right here so that's better wow three gallons quite a quite a drop well hopefully I got the uh, radiator side of things fixed now it's time for fuel turn it on Mike make sure the valves on too Good deal. All right, that'll be done in 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead, fire it up while the fuel's transferring, and blow the hole out. Let's make some noise.
the off. Yesterday, this little bit over here is all we had. We had a little stream like this. Now we have this. That, that well right there probably makes a gallon a minute. All right, well, we just got it all finished. You saw how dull that bit was. I knew this thing was digging slow. I, I had a feeling it was gonna be pretty pretty dull when we pulled it out. But the next step, we've already got it over-reamed. Gotta go in there and pump my grout. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. While we got the grout going in the well, I gotta come over here and finish doing the well tag. So it ended up being 605 foot deep, only made a gallon a minute. So we're gonna drop a one horsepower at 300 foot. And uh, if it uh, needs to in the future, we'll just hide your bracket. Grout's coming up to the surface. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this whole pocket right here. Cause the grout always likes to settle and that'll give it a nice little reservoir to pull from over the next couple hours. I gotta glue my tag on next. 
Then we get to get out of here. Because it is late. We're kind of blessing the sun's behind the cloud right now. It's been hot all day. I'm tired. Well, luckily we got off that job. Tomorrow's another day. But, I've got about 30 minute ride home. Another 30 minutes to unload the truck. And then a 20 minute drive to the house. And then we get to fix the air conditioning system. So hopefully we get some AC going at the house. So I'll see y'all at the house. Well, I finally made it home. Go around here to the air conditioner. See if we can put this capacitor in. I'm just so lucky that some place in my town had this exact capacitor in stock. It's a it's a five dash forty five or something like that. Let me show you this unit. There is no reason for this thing to give me a fit. It's only two years old. That is 29 years old and doesn't skip a beat. I replaced this one only because it was starting to rust out. And I was like, well, I'll replace that one, you know, this summer. Well, hell, I already had issue out of this one. But when I updated this one, I got a bigger blower and it really, really helps to, to blow, you know, more air throughout the house. And the filters on this unit, because the CFM of the fan is so much more, man, the filters trap so much more dirt. Cool. All right, I'm going to open this up. I've got to look at my pictures, figure out which one goes to the compressor, which one goes to the fan. I believe the yellow is the common. That's probably compressor. That's probably fan. And then the yellow is probably common. But i got to look at my picture. All right, well, that is exactly why we take pictures, because I was so wrong. <laughs> on which one went where. Good deal, got it all in. I'm gonna go ahead, button it all up and go inside and see if it works. Y'all are absolutely not going to believe this. So up above me, see that light right there on the, on the eave of my house? Well, it's literally right above me, okay? While I was putting the panel on, something fell onto me. Look, look what fell. This, this, this little guy here. He fell onto me. He's alive. He's alive. I don't know, uh, I don't know how to put him back. I mean, there's 20 feet in the air. Uh, I saw one of his little baby brothers didn't make it. I mean, he fell 20 feet and hit concrete. This guy fell 16 feet onto my back. That is so crazy. I felt it like thunk, and then I looked down and this little thing scurried away. But he scurried into the sunlight. You know, it's like 95 degrees on the back side of my house. Kind of cool his head pivots. I want to leave him here. Maybe like mama will come get him. But I'm going to try to leave him in the shade. I'll come back in an hour and see if he's still here. If he's still here. See. Is it blowing cold air? Yes. All right. Yeah. Cool, cool. The other heat pump has actually been able to keep the house at a reasonable temperature. Yesterday it was 81 in here. There my sweet children are. You can't even see Mandy. Yeah, how was you? How was you, Jen Jen? How are you? How are you? Yeah. Yeah, did y'all have a good day here today? Anybody wants to know, Mandy is doing great. She is doing great. She's actually lost weight from, from having that snake bite. So, that's a good thing for her. Plus, I've got her on, like, Fresh Pet right now. Shout out, Fresh Pet. That stuff does this dog wonders. She moves a whole lot better. She's, she's dropped weight. She's just a whole lot more of a happier dog. Once your dogs aren't like super spastic and high energy, they should probably be on some form of, you know, real meat diet and less cornmeal. Cool. Let's go outside and look at the unit. Just want to let y'all get an update on May May. Yeah, when everything happened with Mandy, I was, uh, <laughs> I was a mess. 
That was a mess. All right, it has been 19 hours since we cut the air off here out on the job site. I decided to come back today because I really want to double check and make sure the well makes enough water for our house. So we're gonna check the water level and see how far it's came up in 19 hours. As long as it's full, we'll be all right. Sounds like it's full, but I don't know. I can hear the echo from here. Looks like you see something in there. Eighty foot, thirty foot, cool, thirty-nine foot. That's great. Yeah. She filled up overnight. Six hundred feet in nineteen hours. So let's do the math on that. Okay, so just basing it off the numbers that I got, I got 841 gallons. So from 39 foot down to 605 foot is 841 gallons. In 19 hours, that filled up. Now, it could have filled up in 17 hours, 16 hours, 15 hours. 39 foot is the static level, so we don't know when it got to the top. This is just the earliest I could get out here. Um, so just based off that math, it is 0.77 gallons per minute. So that equates to three quarters of a gallon a minute. It doesn't seem like a lot, but yesterday it looked like a gallon a minute to me, maybe a little bit better than that. So at least we know the well's not making a quart a minute like it was on the first day, which is good. But this is definitely one that we could hydrofrack in the future, but I think we're looking at like a 1,100 square foot house for just one single, you know, guy. So... It's probably enough to run him, but I told him yesterday it's definitely not enough to do irrigation, but uh, it should work. It should work. So it probably makes more than three quarters of a gallon a minute, just based off of 19 hours the well is full, which is great. So cool. All done.